Hey guys, Zero here. Uh, so just going to be uh, doing some updates on the YCS that's going to be going on over the weekend. Um, I'm going to be busy tomorrow, possibly until the early or mid-afternoon, so I will not be able to, um, hopefully unless it goes later, uh, update you guys on the top decks uh, when we get to top 32. Uh, hopefully I will because you guys know I'm usually on top of that, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, this is basically just a prediction video of what I think is going to win the YCS. Um, before I get to that, I just want to say uh, thanks for all the likes on the Samurai deck profile and the Wind Up deck profile. Both are just about at 50, um, so I will have uh, the Injector deck profile up for you guys probably later today, and uh, possibly the Surprise deck profi profile for you guys tomorrow. Surprise one's not anything special, it's just kind of one of those decks I've always kind of liked but hated. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to put it back together and see what happens. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, YCS Texas. I mean, the format's not as diverse as it was at the start of last format. Last format was a fantastic format until we got um, Abyss Rising, uh, of course, and we got all the rest of the water deck, and things got kind of stupid. Um, but that's to be expected. Uh, and now we have Cosmo Blazer, of course, Fire Fists are really, really good. Um, I don't think they're the best deck in the game. I still think the best deck is probably Water, but I don't know. I mean, there's still a lot of viable decks in this game. I went, uh, I, I played, like, freaking two Water decks and one Prophecy deck at Locals last weekend with Samurai, and I went undefeated until the top, uh, and I ended up 5-1 at the end of the day, which was really good. So, I mean, like, any deck can win. It just really comes down to the pilot of that deck knowing how to play it. Um... I'm really not sure. Honestly, the decks I think I'm going to see in the, we're going to see in the top eight. It's obviously going to be a prophecy deck. Um, I, I think the deck has so much support now, and there's a lot of good players piling it that it's very, very likely that we're going to see it. Um, is it going to win? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think it has enough um, protection to keep itself alive, even with the threatening roars and stuff that it could main deck and you know a possible one day of peace or whatever they run. Um, but you never know. I mean, it's one of those decks that it can plus so much that we'll see what happens. Um, I honestly think that Water is going to do well, but I don't think it's going to do great. Uh, just because it's so easy to side deck against. I mean, uh, that's why I was wrecking that, you know, last weekend with, with Samurai was I was just side decking in, like, triple D-Fisher. And they lose to D-Fisher. Like, they had their MSTs, but then they hit their, your, you know, they MST the D-Fisher. They try to MST it, and you can negate with Xi'an, obviously. But uh, they pick the D-Fisher off, and then they still have all those other back rows that they have to deal with as well. And there's the fact that you might be running macro. You might have a, might have a macro set or something. Like, you just don't know. So, I mean, um... I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Ultimately, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting YCS. Um, you know, I think Fire Fist will top for sure. Uh, there's so many different variants of the deck, and it's still a very, very powerful deck, so uh, we will see what happens. Um, I'm hoping a Rogue deck wins. I mean, I still think Windups is one of the best decks in the game right now. Uh, it's really, really powerful. Just being able to summon Rabbit with a factory, and you just keep banishing it and searching and searching and searching it. Even though three MSTs are in the game, there's three factories in the game, so it doesn't matter. The deck's just so consistent. I'm playing it right now. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's still super consistent and uh, very, very fun. So we'll see what happens in that regard. Um, but other than that, yeah, I mean... I don't know, I, I think that it's it's either going to be a rogue deck or it's just going to be a derpy YCS and we're just going to see water win it. Um, but anyways, comment down below what, what deck do you guys think is going to win the YCS. I will have the coverage link down below in the description, so if you guys want to keep up to date on what decks are winning, you know, uh, who's in the top, whatever, uh, make sure to click that link and follow it. Excuse me, <laughs> other than that, uh, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll have a deck profile for you guys up later tonight. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.